It's time to arise. 5,000 women show up to be able to worship God is a very powerful thing. They talk about it's time for Esther, Deborah, and for Ruth to rise up. Check it out. 5,000 women of God showing up yes. powerfully. Tell us about that, John. Well, uh, the, uh, Women's of Glow International just mm -hmm. got together, um, I believe in Virginia, 5,000 women celebrating. There's, there's Chuck Pierce yeah, right there. Yeah, boundless favor yeah. and uh, power and majesty. They, they got together and Chuck Pierce was one of their speakers. Uh -huh. And you know this. 5,000 yeah. women. And 50 years of ministry of, Look, of gathering like, these ladies and empowering them. Uh, it, she looks you know. like a, that's a man. Well, there's a man in there. Men but, and women, but, okay, 5,000 yeah. women, okay. But 5,000 gathered, and Chuck Pierce is one of the speakers invited. And, there's and Chuck, I love Chuck. Oh my goodness, he's in Corinth, Texas. Yes, he is. Zion Ministries, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Zion Ministries out of Corinth, Texas. Yes. Okay. And so, um, the Hebrew calendar 5778 is the year of the door. Which just uh, happened. Just, just happened. It was 5777, which is the year of the sword. So this is the year of the open door, right? The year of the open door. It, but Chuck prophesied and said this also is this is the year of Ruth and this year women will occupy and this year women will gain their inheritance. And so this yeah, was this was awesome. very encouraging. I mean, you want, you want Ruth to rise up. I mean, my goodness. This is the time. I mean, right yeah. after you remember uh, yeah. President Trump was was inaugurated, I believe that mm -hmm. same day or the day after, all these just women started going to Washington, D.C. and they yes. were just was hatred the really antithesis. i mean the yeah. antithesis it was of what some was women on. it was a small amount of women but they had cameras on them oh and there's a lot of vulgarity and oh yeah things that were going and on. you would think by looking at that this is this is indicative of what every woman in america feels like and not it's so. not i mean the five thousand women percentage. even right here and i yes. think about i think about uh sister brenda kilpatrick uh she used to be a brownsville somebody got of course she's with her husband in church of its presence yes. she's a prophetess and uh, she had uh, Arise, Deborah, Arise, yes. you know, with um, early on had been planting a seed. And I really believe that this, what we're about to talk about is, is coming from where she had planted that seed and has mm. been faithful to it because the call, they're literally having prepare, uh, prepare like Esther and Arise like Deborah. So you have Ruth, you have Esther, and you have Deborah, which is, you know, what, you know, I think about, I even think about Rhonda, Rhonda Wilson, you know, this part mm. of the VFN Dream Center. Yeah. That's her heart, you know, a Deborah, Deborah Ministries. And so it's just powerful to see what's going on. Well, look, it's taking place right now. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be in October, but take a look. I believe the collective cry of a million mothers around the world is going to birth a movement that is greater than anything we have ever seen. Believe that there's a march of Deborah coming forth. That's the march of righteousness and purity and it's fearless. We have been prepared for the last years for such a time as now and the heart, why? Why me? Why do I believe in this? It's because we do have to stand up for this generation. We can rise above what our culture is telling us a woman has to be in this hour. This is our time, this is our hour, and there may never be a time like this. This is the time for the women and girls of America and around the world to wake up and rise up. So we're calling an army of young generation Esthers and Deborahs to rise right now that they can stand in who they are and have the foundation of knowing God. You don't have to settle for a generation in our nation being destroyed by deception. It's time for the woman to step out of the shadows of insecurity and fears and shame. Be who God created you to be and set your world on fire. It's time for the women preachers to arise. It's time for the women voices to arise. It's time for the real thing. It's time for the outpouring of Acts chapter two. It's why I believe in this, this call to women to rise up as mothers of a nation, mothers in your family. And if you'll come, and if you'll cry together, God is gonna birth it. I am Deborah. I am Deborah. I am Esther. I am Esther. I am Deborah. I am Esther. For my sons and daughters. For my sons and daughters. Sons and daughters. I will rise up. I will rise up. I will rise up. I will rise up. For my sons and daughters. Beginning today and on October 9th, we will rise up.
Is that not awesome? I want to encourage you. October the 9th. You. you know, half of us are women and half of us are men. If the women aren't moving in the call of God, only half of us are moving. That's right. You know, and, and we need everybody to rise up during this day. And I remember teaching a message just recently at the BFN Dream Center about a particular uh, 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 lady that, uh, that was in her um, home and Israel was being under great assault and things that were going on and, and it looked like the enemy was coming in to totally destroy and they really were but they didn't realize God was gathering them together to destroy them but literally one lady in her home who knows how to fix dinner hmm. took out the enemy took out the it was amazing how she did that of course that's the natural sense but now in the spiritual sense you know, one prayer warrior who's praying and, and calling down heaven and praying for your children and praying for your president and praying for our government and praying over these seven mountains and praying for us and what's going on, taking over the media mountain, the education mountain. We think about Betsy DeVos. Betsy DeVos is an amazing gift from God going into the schools to flip over where the schools have been turned over to a system that was going to take your kids from you. As a matter of mm -hmm. fact, we have a whole generation that's been trained up in such a way that they're not, they don't honor you, they don't respect you. Well, that was the school system that did that. Well, Betsy DeVos and our president is going in saying, this is gonna change, but we gotta stand with them. You know, the, the whole school system, you know, we're sending out tax dollars to the different schools and they're bar bar uh, barricading and blocking our own secretary of education, not letting her come in. And by the way, she flew her own plane to, the, to that yes. particular uh, destination to be able to help our kids get an education. They want every kid to get their education. So the women play a huge role that's going on. And, uh, and I'm excited about this, what's going on. I'm excited about what's taking place and that uh, you know, God is, is, is causing people to rise. And I think about one of our, one of our uh, most excited videos on our YouTube channel is Priscilla. You know, she's a son, a daughter of- uh, Tony Evans. Tony Evans. Pastor Tony Evans. Yeah. She's, her name, she's got a married name now, I believe mm -hmm. her last name is. But she stood up and she boldly declared, you know, that who God is and everybody loves that. But there's some people that criticized her yeah. for being the lady talking about Jesus. Yeah, and she was the woman. Yeah. She was the actress in the in the movie uh, War Room. War Room. Yeah, it's it a very good movie. You got to see that. But you know, we want to support the women who stand up for God. We want to support the men. Supporting a woman does not mean you're not supporting the man, and supporting the man does not mean you're supporting the woman. You should support everybody. And I have you know Chuck uh, Charles Simpson. An awesome man of God, apostle. You know, he said that he says if a dog comes into town preaching Jesus, throw him a bone. Hmm. I mean, if you have a woman of God or a man of God that's preaching the word of God, we should be so supportive of what's going on. Even Jesus said, even Jesus said to the disciples when they started picking and choosing who's gonna who's gonna you know, should we should we let that person minister? And Jesus said, if they're if they're not if they're not against us, they're for us. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. And it's like you know this is awesome what's taking place, and we're totally supportive of that. I want to be able to pray for you right now. Maybe you're a lady that's saying, you know, I'm ready to move on my call. I encourage everybody, men and women both, to get rightly related to the body of Christ. Get get in that position and begin to minister like you never did before. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for Yusuf. We pray protection over him that you yes, would send Lord. an angel to protect him, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for these women raising up. We thank you, Lord, for Sister Brenda Kilpatrick, who stood up and said in the early days to plant this seed and those that have even gone before her, Father God. And we pray, Lord God, for that you would end, I mean, of all the things, these women rising up, that you would end abortion in this country, that you would send revival, that you would send a third grade awakening, we pray. In Jesus' name, God bless. Thank you for watching VFN TV. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com.